Hello everybody, cheers to uh, the Digital Zone board. I know I was supposed to make this video two days ago, but uh, sorry for that. Now I've been busy doing this and that and the other. So hopefully we can get this done right now, alright? So welcome to the my series of videos, uh, thereby announced the Pimp My Laptop project. What this will be about is how to get the most of, out of your laptop, how to troubleshoot problems with your laptop, uh, what software to get for your laptop, and to clear up some common misconceptions. Alright, misconception number one. A lot of people buying new laptops say that Vista is bad and that it slows down their computer. Read this twice, three times, four times. Alright, get the point? Good. Vista in itself isn't bad. What is bad is the way your computer manufacturers install it. You see, if you have bought a new laptop, it will prob it has probably come pre-installed with Vista, the 32-bit home premium version. Now, home premium isn't bad as the Windows version, but 32-bit is outdated technology. All new systems are 64-bit capable and greatly benefit from using 64-bit editions of Windows. So, the first thing that the computer manufacturer should have done is install a 64-bit version of Windows. But, since they haven't, you, um, you should do so. If you're like me and like playing around with new toys, you can try out the new Windows 7. It's supposed to come retail soon, but you can try the RTM in the meantime. I like it. It is very fast. It's stable. And uh, to all your Vista haters, it is based on Vista. So, you can hate it too, but uh, it is a notable improvement upon Vista. Windows 7, in my opinion, is for Vista what XP was for 2000. So, let's get back on topic. Uh, a lot of you may not realize that Vista is far from the cause of the troubles with your system. Uh, if your laptop has troubles, I'm 100% sure it's not Vista at fault. But, the second thing that I will get to it is bloatware now let me tell you something about computer manufacturers business practices uh, so that ca they can uh, uh, finance all those advertising campaigns and sell the laptop to you at a cheap price they have contracts with several software companies to uh, promote their software on your computer and most of their software is this it's bloatware. See that? I, I think you'll have to agree with me on this. Most uh, uh, new laptops come pre-installed with a lot of useless software. And uh, you should get rid of it uh, right away. One of the largest resource hogs in the computer world is Norton Antivirus. It's got an, it was bad enough when it uh, when I first uh, saw it, but it's gotten worse and worse and worse with um, uh, with time. Basically, the interface has gotten so dumbed down they think everybody's stupid, and they're trying to make everybody that isn't stupid. They're trying to make them stupid. It ho still hogs a lot of system resources, and it's totally inadequate for a portable computer because the portable computer relies on its battery. So uh, it needs to save power as much as possible, and to save power you will have to sacrifice performance. So every bit of uh, performance, every percent of CPU uh, time that you can save does matter on a laptop. So if your laptop came pre-installed with Norton, please uninstall it and find a different antivirus package. Thank you. There are a couple good free ones, you just have to look for them. Uh, Alright, I'll mention them here. One is... Uh, Avira, go to www.free-av.com and the other nice one is A the AVG. You can try either of uh, these ones. I don't run an antivirus currently, but uh, I do not scare. Uh, I did not run a real-time antivirus, but I scan about once a week with uh, uh, Nod32. Uh, now, if you learn good uh, browsing practice, 
Uh, you will not need an antivirus, take my word for this. So, uh, I will uh, tell you more about uh, this later in the series. But, uh, next thing uh, we have to discuss on laptop is drivers. As you have seen, uh, when you buy a laptop you have to rely on the laptop manufacturer to provide drivers, although my laptop has pretty standard hardware, it has an AMD processor and an NVIDIA graphics card, uh, neither uh, uh, AMD nor NVIDIA provide software updates for the laptop, uh, they do not uh, um, provide drivers themselves, you have to get the drivers from HP, which is my computer manufacturer. And most of the times, uh, computer manufacturers, once they release a new series of uh, computers, they pretty much forget about uh, uh, the old ones and don't release uh, updates to the drivers or software unless it's really, really critical. In fact, unless people bug them enough, they will not release any updates and leave many uh, serious bugs unfixed. What you can do for this is update your drivers from uh, different sources and uh, this is something I will uh, I will discuss uh, right now for NVIDIA drivers latest NVIDIA drivers for laptops you can go to laptop video to go dot com you will find the latest drivers for your NVIDIA video card there and they will provide the best gaming performance so Besides that, uh, one of the best ways to speed up your laptop and get rid of any bloatware is to do a clean install of Windows. And please get the 64-bit version. I mean, please. You will, you will see it runs much better. Besides uh, that, of course, once you reinstall Windows on your laptop, you'll notice that most of the hardware in your laptop isn't recognized. So, we go back to this topic again. Drivers. Drivers. First, you will go to your computer manufacturer's site. and get only the essentials. Basically that means go to your manufacturer's site and only download the drivers. The sound, driver, uh, video, card reader, and whatnot, webcam, things like that. Install all the drivers but do not install any software provided by your computer manufacturer. For example, HP uh, has a media software that is called QuickPlay that is actually coded by Cyberlink, not by HP it is made by Cyberlink for HP so uh, they even have my lab, HP laptop has two dedicated buttons I don't know if you can see in, in the camera but this is the QuickPlay button, this is the DVD button so they are supposed to launch the QuickPlay application but I didn't like their QuickPlay quick play application so look what I did let's try and press the QuickPlay button it launches FUBAR 2000, launches my favorite audio player. I have written a little program that will allow you to change the function of the quick play keys on your HP laptop and I will link to it uh, uh, so check out uh, the links uh, beside the video. Now, a lot of uh, people have complained with sound issues on their laptops but as my time is running low I will only briefly explain the phenomenon most sound crackles, pops and things like that do, uh, in a laptop are caused by conflicting drivers so uh, you can download this little program called the DPC latency checker and check for any red lines in the graph if you see any red bars in the graph then you have driver problems and you should uh, try updating your drivers first uh, off is usually the wireless card that is one of the most uh, problem inducing uh, drivers usually and uh, but you can uh, check for others 
as well. Anyway, that's about it for now.